guys, this video is going to show you a little bit around this room. It is a very small room, you've seen it a million times before if you've watched me for a while, so I'm not going to do a full on room tour, though you can definitely find those if you check out my channel page and search for room tour, there will be more than one, uh, there will be more than one room as well, but I've been in this one for quite a while now. Um, but it's going to be more of a kind of details video, so some things that I've added, little soft furnishings or um, organisational things or even just things to make things look nicer, some little DIYs to show you and I just wanted to share them because I have had requests for room tours and I thought this would be slightly more interesting for those of you that have just kind of had enough of that, like me. <laughs> I definitely do not need to do another room tour in this room. Um, but there are some little things that I would like to show you so I'm going to do that in this video. Also, I am thinking of doing a kind of summer series on DIYs where maybe I test out DIY recipes like face masks, hair masks, scrubs and stuff like that. I'll show you how you make them and see whether or not they actually work because I've not made these recipes up. I am not kind of a chemist or anything. I'm not someone that can just kind of pluck an idea from thin air but you can kind of add to them and you can make them your own slightly. Um, so we shall see but I'm thinking of maybe doing that as kind of an I try DIY rather than a how to series. So let me know what you think about that but I'm considering maybe starting that soon um, with uh, kind of like avocado masks and stuff. So yeah, any suggestions, anything at all to do with that, let me know, leave me a comment, because I'm quite excited about it. I've just had this sudden bolt of inspiration, and I might even get into other DIYs as well. Um, but yeah, let me know. Uh, anyway, on to this video, and I'm going to show you some little bits in this room. As a beauty blogger, this is quite a common sight in my house, but in this room, it was getting to be a bit of a nightmare. There's just basically cluttered products all over my surfaces, and especially in this room, I really wanted something that uh, would store them. And the best thing that I found were these baskets from H&M. Uh, they come in lots of different colours, but I got pink because it went with the colour scheme of the room. And the best thing about them is that you can transport products from place to place, depending on where I'm filming. The next thing I added was this little table runner, which is actually also from H&M, strangely enough. There are a few things from H&M in this video, uh, but I just liked the colour. It's actually supposed to be a table runner, like a diamond room table runner, uh, but I thought it looked nice across these two units that I store my makeup in, and again, it looks really nice with the colour scheme. My perfumes used to live in this box. Not ideal, I could never see what I had, and I decided to display them. I got this tray, again from H&M, uh, this was a little while ago now so I'm not sure whether it'd still be available, but I decided to display each of my favourite perfumes and obviously I can go back and change them if I feel differently or as the seasons change, um, but all of my kind of current favourite perfumes now sit there behind me in my videos. Another cute idea is to use jars, and these are filled with sweets, but you can actually fill them with anything. I like them in the kitchen, filled with kind of grains and pasta, and I know that that's kind of a practical thing as well, but just as a decorative touch, I think it's really cute. This trick is kind of double duty. It is practical because it is a way of organising my necklaces. They used to be in a box and I hardly ever wore them. Now I wear them all the time because I can see them. But it's also a way of displaying them because of course, you know, there's a reason that we wear them. They are pretty and they are kind of display items. Why not display them on the wall when you're not wearing them around your neck? If you're nervous to put holes in your walls, and I can see why you might be, there are lots of other ways to do it. For example, I put some holes in this bookcase, uh, or down the side of this bookcase where I house some bags and shoes, but you could also use um, a frame, you could use a bulletin board on your wall, plenty of different ways to do it. Uh, you may have noticed down the side of that bookcase were these framed bags, and I get so many questions about this and it's such a simple little thing. I'd seen these a million times on Pinterest, but really you do not need a guide. Anyone can do this, you do not need to be told how. Um, I just chose my favourite bags and put them in some really cheap IKEA frames. Um, but I just think they look so effective and they are so, so cheap to make. And yeah, anyone can make these, just give it a go because I think they look so cool. So that was a little peek into some of the details of my room. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that some of these little tips that I found uh, were useful. And I hope that you are looking forward to more DIYs from me. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!